Howdy friends, welcome to another episode of the Blues Harp Biker. Howdy friends, welcome to the Blues Harp Biker channel. All right. Okay, well today, I don't have a whole lot to say today. Uh, as you guys saw last week, I did a whole thing about my bike getting the fender bent on it because I hit some kind of obstacle on the road. I managed to go back and take a look to see if I could see anything that looked remotely like what I hit. And I did see a, a black piece of sheet metal on the side of the road, kind of near where, uh, where I was traveling. And uh, it looked like it could have been right around the spot where I hit that thing. And it could have been a piece of rubber. It could have been anything, but um, whatever. I hit it and it dented my fender. So um, I lost a little piece of trim off of it. Well, they do sell the trim at um, the Harley Davidson shop. So at Fresno Harley Davidson, I found this piece of trim. And uh, so I did buy it. It was very expensive. Uh, <laughs> $63. I'll show it to you here in just a minute. Uh, yeah, I could have looked around, swap meets and stuff like that. Sometimes and things like that, that's a never-ending battle because these pieces of trim, they're the first things that go when, you know, when a fender gets messed up. And what's the first thing to go when you hit something on a bike? It's usually the fender. So the fenders are a real pain in the butt. And so while I was at Fresno Harley-Davidson, he told me about a guy that could take dents out of fenders. He looked at my fender and said, no dice. That's not the kind of dent that I do. I take care of dings and other kinds of dents. Mine is folded up. So I'm going to go out and take a look and see if I can kind of maybe shape it back. What's going to happen is it's going to screw the paint up probably, you know. Am I going to be any worse off? I don't know. I don't know. Let me go out there and fool around with it and uh, see if... I can figure out how to get it going and I'll show you guys this piece of uh, trim. I know if it's going to be a whole bunch of people there tell me you're doing that wrong, you're doing this wrong and probably I will be doing something wrong. Um, this is not a how-to video. This is just me fumbling around trying to figure out what's going on. So anyways, got the cat here. My cat is... So, say hello. Say hello to everybody. She's wanting a little attention. This is the world's greatest cat. This cat follows me around like a dog, lives outside, hunts, right? Come here, say hello. Come here and say hello. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look at this guy. Yeah. There it is. Also, you guys remember um, uh, a couple episodes back, I found a little cat out here in that wood pile over there. And it's a little kitten. And I decided I'd bring it in, bring it home, and... Well, it's in the house right now, but that thing turned into a devil. It is an absolute devil. It goes crazy. It wants to fight all the time. Uh, hopefully, if it grows up, it'll be as cool as this cat here. But this cat here is pretty darn cool. This cat pays a lot of attention to what's going on. Kitty, kitty. Hello. Yeah. All right. What's that? What'd you say? What'd you say? Oh, okay. All right. So anyways, I'm going to go up into the shop here. We'll take a look at this piece of trim. I'll fool around with my fender and see if there's something I can do. Um, so let's do something. We're going to do it. Like I always say, we're going to do something, even if it's wrong. What do you think? You think it's time to do something? Okay, let's go. Let's do something. All right, so this thing is that piece of trim that I got from the Harley shop for the fender. You can see it comes in this great big old box. Right there. These are some little clips that... Whoops, whoops. What the heck did I do here? Those are the little clips that hold it on. And as you can see... This thing isn't much. <laughs> the little chrome piece of plastic. little chrome piece of plastic okay so and it's supposed to go right here and as you can see 
things are bent right here. See, this thing is bent. So, what to do about that? You know, I don't want to just grab a hold of it and bend it because, you know, that will... But if you kind of mold it a little, work it. See, it's right here where the bend is. Right, it starts there. And it goes right up like like that. There's the, where the majority of the bend is. Hmm. And a little bent there too. As you can see, I'm, I'm right up. The whole fender's kind of out of whack. Hmm. 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 Was able to bend it a little. See that? Not quite as bad as it was. I wonder. Hmm. You know what, I had, I used to have some body tools. Hold on a second here. Okay, I've got some like body and fender tools here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these things kind of behind the bend so that I don't drastically bend anything. And I'm just gonna kind of work the metal a little bit behind it, see if that works. These things are, they're metal and they've, they've got a contour on them. As you can see, that one's got a pretty good contour. And uh, I'll just see if I can just kind of get up to bend around it. Take that sharp bend out. You know, I don't really need to contour it that much, but it'll keep it from leaving a crease, hopefully. And so let's take a look and see what happens. <laughs> See, the problem is, I got that one. The problem is, is that we got a pretty good doodad right there. Pretty good little flare. And it's real small, and that means it's not going to be very, um, it's not going to be very elastic. It's I did get some of it out though. I did definitely get some of it out. It's not nearly as bad as it was. Hmm. But that's that's the problem. That's the problem right there. Let me try a little bit more here. Hmm. 
okay. Uh, I don't know what I've done. Hmm. Well. Okay. I've got one little spot right here. I gotta figure that out. And I don't know exactly what to do. Let me see what I can figure out. Okay, well, what I think I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna use this piece of little piece of canvas because it's real tough. And I'm gonna put it here and then grab it with a pair of pliers. Try to see if I can kind of bend it a little at a time, to straighten it out. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, dumb move, I know. But we're gonna try it. perfect by any means but let's see what happens here this wouldn't even fit on there at all before oh look at that over on this side is it going to win over here well, it ain't quite fitting up wait no it didn't quite fitting up Hmm. For some reason, it's not quite fitting up. Hmm. You can see over here, it's not fitting up over on this side. How far off are we? I mean, we're just. Probably be easier if I got it to fit over on this side. Let's see what we got here. Might be upside down too. You know what? It might be upside down. It might go like this. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at that! I had it upside down. All right, look at that, look at that. You can't even tell it was dented. <laughs> okay. Whew. Almost, it's got a little, well, it's like that on both sides though. I think once I get the clips on it, It'll, uh, it'll pull itself in. See it? See that? It's not perfect, but, but it's not bad. Okay. 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 Cool. Life feels better for me right now. All right. This is still tripping me out a little though. A little more, well, I did kind of push the fender around a little bit and I might have gotten it to straighten itself out. Uh, let's put the clamps on this and we'll be done with it. Yes. Okay, so these, this is the little clamps that go on and for somehow, I don't know how they go on. Whether they go this way or that way. I think they might go this way. Feel right to me. Mm. 
go on that easy no way that can be right hmm. we'll try that one right there okay I'm gonna put these clamps on now I'm gonna turn off the camera And look at there. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it. Ha <laughs> ha! I did it. And it's on there. Let's see how we look. Still a little weird right here. Still a little weird right here, but oh well. Looks better from a distance. Kind of hard to see. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did it. Still a little bent. Still got a little bent right here. But it's not too bad. This is better here. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. We're good. Oh, all right. Look at that. I love it when a plan comes together. Woo. Good. Yeah, I feel better about life. Woo! All right, I did it. It looks good. I mean, it, you know, it, it's there's, there's a little gap in the front. You can see it's about like that. Uh, but it, it's not all dented up no more. You know, it was pretty bad, actually. But let's see. There's a little gap right there. And, uh... But... Other than that, it's okay. I think it's just fine. Cool. All right, friends. That's it. Okay. We're not all dented up and ugly anymore. Well, okay, <laughs> that's all there is. Now, again, this is not a how-to video, okay? So, you know, if you guys wanna comment and tell me everything that I did wrong and how you do it differently, that's fine. But uh, you're not chastising me because I don't care. <laughs> I, I just, it was either try it or get someone else to do a whole body and fender thing to it, you know? bunch of body work bunch of I would have had it painted over again if I took that to somebody that did body work they wouldn't just do what I did to it they'd tell me I needed a bunch of stuff it would have to be all straightened out and then painted and all of that and it's just fine you know I just straightened it up did just a quick little patch job to it I guess you'd call it just a quick little repair and it turned out all right so anyways short episode today that's all I'm gonna do thanks for watching uh this was uh another part to the saga from the last episode where i detailed the events that caused this to happen to my front fender but uh, anyways onward and upward more to come all right i'd like to thank everybody for watching now i hope uh you guys enjoyed it had a good time hanging out with me that's basically all this video is just uh hanging out with me for a little while and i appreciate everybody tuning in uh if this is your first time Go back and check out some of my other videos. I've got 230 videos or something like that. I've got tons of them. Uh, all kinds of just fun stuff. Nothing serious. Just light-hearted having a good time. That's what I do. Just have a good time and, uh, you know, hang out with my friends. Enjoy life. And that's what things are all about. Uh, if you guys check those out and you like what you see, or just do it now, hit that subscribe button. Give me the thumbs up and hit that little bell. What that's going to do is it's going to let you know when I upload new content. I try to do it every Tuesday and every Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific time, right here on YouTube. 
and uh, the thumbs up lets the YouTube algorithms know that you like what I'm doing. Let's me know that too, all right? And uh, also the subscribe button. Well, we're friends for life if you do that. So go ahead and do all three of those things and that'll make me real happy and it'll make you happy as well. It will enlighten your life, ladies and gentlemen, as well as mine. All right, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Nine o'clock Pacific time, every Tuesday, every Saturday, right here on YouTube. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a good time all the time. Watch out for stuff on the road because I didn't do it. I can tell you firsthand. And just be safe and hopefully we'll see you again next time. Right here on the Blues Heart Biker channel. Right here on YouTube. We'll see you then. Thank you, everybody. I love you. I appreciate it.